I'm Michael Jorgensen. I'm the piano technician at Central Michigan University, and I've been doing it for 30, this is my 34th year at this school. I actually ended up graduating in geography. I became uh, discouraged with music. I was a piano performance major, and uh, I wanted to be a concert pianist, and uh, that didn't go so well, so I ended up doing this. Uh, my father did this, and my sons now do it. I mostly tune pianos. About probably more than half of my time here at Central is spent tuning, and it depends a lot on what the needs of the institution are or the needs of the customers. I can do rebuilding, I can do voicing, regulating, whatever the piano needs is really how I spend my time, and, and specifically what, in this case, this institution needs and what they have budget for, it ends up that probably Probably 60% of my time is spent on just tuning, and the rest is spent on regulating, voicing, some rebuilding. I usually tune between three and five pianos every day, and I will, um, at times, for instance, certain times of the year, I don't need to do as much tuning because the uh, humidity is quite stable, and uh, humidity causes pianos to expand and contract, and it causes the tuning to change. And so um, during certain times, I am able to work exclusively on projects, which I consider to be things like regulating, replacing major parts, and that kind of thing. And then other times, I'm just tuning and tuning and tuning. It all depends. Right now, I'm kind of in transition. I've been doing a lot of, a lot of projects, and now I'm moving back into the tuning because the weather is changing so the humidity is starting to rise in the building, so the need for tuning is in increasing. I always have to watch my budget, that I don't overspend on materials, and I, I try to be as frugal as I can. Um, I try to preserve as many parts and restore as many piano parts as I can to save the university money, because these are expensive. Um, all of it is very expensive. It's highly specialized materials. So that's probably the biggest challenge. And then, of course, time. Um, there is always a, a time element. I'm still learning. After 40 years about of doing this, I, I've never stopped learning. Um, I'm a member of a guild. I'm, I'm president of the um, Lansing chapter of that organization, and, and that's all about education, and, and I constantly am learning and studying, um, and I don't think I will ever, ever stop learning. There always seems to be something new.